Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. Oh my effing god, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Look at that. I haven't uploaded a video in a couple of months now, a few months, longer, and this video is going to explain why and what my plans are for creating videos and what I want to do and why I'm doing it. Why, why was I making videos on YouTube? I never explained why I just went and did it. Just basically a summary of what the hell has been going on. I started YouTube because me and my buddy had made a few videos together beforehand and I just fell in love with it. I'd never created a video before, I'd always had like an interest in movies and kind of acting and all that sort of stuff, anything creative I was interested in. So then I said I'm going to start a new YouTube channel and I bought a camera and I started it and I was scared uploading the first video but it happened after that, didn't care anymore. and. I just loved creating videos, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I just wanted to make the YouTube channel to discover what kind of videos did I like, or did I like acting, or did I like being behind the camera, or what, what was the most thing, it was just, it had opened up a new world for me, and that's what I did, I just went with it. I created a few characters on my YouTube channel, farmer, the weather, homeless guy, a few different stuff like that and that was fun and that was me acting and then there was me in vlogs and stuff and I remember I wouldn't curse or swear or anything like that because the YouTubers that I was watching at the time, the people who were influencing me, didn't swear because it was real family based and stuff and that's all fine. Also my vision was back then was maybe I could become famous, maybe I might blow up, this would be great, you know. I don't know, get into comedy or become a professional videographer that makes YouTube videos about creating other videos and so there was all these possibilities that I was thinking of and I was like, yeah, it's this fun. I want I wanted to get a job that was fun that I liked doing that wasn't a uh, nine to five job that I just go to or whatever. You know, I wanted to do something fun and exciting and something that I enjoy. Even if that was nine to five, that's still perfectly fine, but that's what I wanted, you know, and those were some of my visions, and I just wanted to see where it took me. Was this deliberate? Like, what the hell is that? I understand that they made this here, fair enough, but why didn't they raise that? Is that, is this, like, is this meant to be there? Is that like a little swamp full of frog spawn and frogs and cheers? I mean... I don't know. This maybe someday my question will be answered, but I don't think that day is going to be the day. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take the sunglasses off for this one. Take out these out of my ear. So this is where. It gets really serious, real deep, real, real, really real. I stopped making videos about four months ago. I'd say it's about four months ago now. And the reason being was I've started to have social anxiety. It got really bad four months ago and I had to go on medication and stuff. Yeah, it just took away, when I went to the medication, it actually made me completely like blown up social anxiety. I was just in bits for like two months and I was just about to stop taking them until they actually did start working eventually. But through that time, it just took away my motivation for creating videos and stuff and I just had no ounce of enthusiasm to do it whatsoever. I just looked after myself as best that I could and not make any videos. So like my cameras were in the press for a long time. I only after dusting them off, I don't know, last month, just to take photographs and now I'm on to making videos again. And hopefully it continues. It still can be hard to get motivated. I don't plan on staying on the medication for much longer, about another four months, and then I'm planning on weaning myself off of them. And through this time I have been trying to find tools and create ways of 
dealing with the social anxiety. Um, basically, social anxiety, a uh, big factor in why I haven't been creating videos. There probably was a few other minor things, but social anxiety was the big main reason. Oh my God. There used to be like a big cabin over that, a big roof, like so much of my childhood, so much of my teenage years spent in there with friends and they just cut it all off. It's just gone. When I saw it first, I was kind of like, oh my God, what have those bastards done? They've ruined the lake. But now I'm kind of like, mm. maybe it was a good idea to cut them away. There's more trees there, um, like it's more open. I don't know. Mm. Get some taken. It'll get some used. It will get. It will take some getting used to. All of my YouTube videos leading up to now has been me either playing a character or me being me, meaning I was actually just having a persona. It wasn't the real me. I was only showing you like positive things, the good things. Uh, everything was always rosy in the garden. I wasn't like showing you like if I was having a bad day or, you know, I was watching my language. I wasn't swearing. I didn't want anyone else swearing in the videos. But that wasn't all because of I wanted to be fake and for you to think to, to think that that was my life. Um, I was thinking along the lines of, this has to be like PG. This, like kids have to be able to watch this and not be picking up swearing and stuff. But that's not me, and that's not the way I am. Uh, I do swear from time to time. I don't swear a lot, but now I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna like say whether if I am having a bad day, what my issues are. Um, I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna be putting it all out there because everyone has issues. Everyone has bad traits, good traits. You know, everyone is human. Everyone is a person. So there's enough people out there putting on personas in front of the camera and, you know, making you think that they don't have any problems, but they do. So I just want to be real as I can be. Um, I'm not saying that I'll probably be real all the time, but as best as I can to my ability. Just to show that life isn't always good, you know, but that's good because that's what makes the good times good, because the bad times. If anybody knows what all this crap is leading into the lake, like, what is this? I just hate when there's like plastic and things that shouldn't be in nature. Pipes, brain pipes. I don't know, maybe it's some sort of filtration system that something get into the water. I don't know, like, I just, I just don't know. What? If, if anyone knows, you please leave it down in the comment section. What is this? Here, let, let me, let me just zoom in. Like, what is this? I don't know. Let's have a look over here. What, what is this? I just hate the sight of that in nature. I don't know. So what the YouTube channel is going to be about now is going to be personal blogs and experiences. So I'm going to stop putting as much effort into the videos because I spend a long time editing the videos and stuff and then I wouldn't be getting as much videos out there. I'm going to be doing certain things in the future now and I want to be vlogging it. I want to have memories. I want to have real memories of how it really was. Um, and just to kind of put them together more quick. So maybe the videos might be as entertaining, I don't know. But it's gonna be memories for me. It's practice for my videography as well. It's practice for creation. It's practice being comfortable in front of the camera. It's just, yeah. I'm gonna also. Also, I'm going to be creating probably comedy skits, just little funny skits, characters created, maybe with some friends and stuff. Um, I don't know, that probably will be happening. Um, I might do some serious videos, I'd like to do some serious videos about some maybe issues that I've gone through in the past or that I might have some experience in. I've came out the other side and things that have helped me, you know, because I have gone through bits and bobs and maybe it could help somebody because goddamn those are times when I needed help so many times and who knows what else there might be I just I just don't know um, I'm just gonna go with the flow now that's my plan be real on the camera be me be myself show the bad as well as the good all those things 
I don't know how I'm supposed to end the video here now. Um, with that, anyone that's watching this, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in staying tuned to what the future holds. It's going to be different, a different twang. If you're not going to be liking the content, the content that I'm bringing out anymore, then you can unsubscribe and leave the channel because things are going to be different. Not a lot different, but a bit different. You know, into that, it's cool. No hard feelings. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Always up for a chat. Goodbye, everybody. Whoosh. Can you see me through the sunglass? No. No way was that meant to be. No way. Why didn't they just get loads of sand and just sand it up? They probably will in the future. Unless some frogs come and lay some frogs spawning. There's all the frogs. That'd be so cool. Oh, I got a fucking shock. Somehow. Check this out, B Hotel, do not touch. That is pretty cool, because we need to protect the bees.